Hello, insufferable gaming fans. All two of you. Oh, last time we finished up the fish mouth place. So, the owl, so talkative one that he is, gave us the clue to go somewhere involving a place or something. I forget exactly what he said, but I know where to go. The next area up on the list to get to is the face shrine. First thing we're gonna need in the face shrine is a key to the face shrine. Now, let's see if I can just remember how to get to the key that leads to the face shrine. You know, one thing I've been telling myself more and more that I really ought to do is check my handy dandy map, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see... Should be somewhere around here, I think. So let's just, um, head upstream a bit and see if we can find the place. Up, upstream. And that means we gotta go in this room. Trying not to get shot, bombed, and otherwise mangled by assorted things on the way. You know what? We might need to be over there. I just can't remember. It's been so darn long. I'm pretty sure we need to uh, exit through that cave to get to the actual shrine. Yep, that's where we'll be using the key once we find it. Now, how do we find that key? Let's try the surrounding environs. You'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit quiet today. Uh, one of my buddies thought it would be funny to set my head on fire, and I've got a bit of a headache as a direct result. Plus second degree burns, let's not forget the second degree burns. Okay, that wasn't the place. It's definitely near here. Definitely. Luckily, we've got lots of places to... Ah! Insulin flying mushrooms, throwing bombs, is a common lament that you hear all the time. One to the north, one to the south. Okay. We need to head to the southern shrine first, that's where we'll find the key. Wow, the owl said something that was directly useful. God bless him, he tried as hard as he could to couch it as a riddle, but in the end, sorry, just flat out head south. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, bombs. Zooming right on past that. You know what? That's not right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hop in the water back up there. Let's bounce this electric ass wazzle out of the way. We'll try heading in there. Or maybe... To the east first. Destroying nature like tektites along the way. Yeah, this looks about right. Let's equip our super duper boomerang that we have. That'll destroy these knights like no one's business. Perhaps you call them iron knuckles. Perhaps you call them dark nuts. Perhaps you just call them a pain in the ass. Either way... The boomerang will, in fact, wreck their crap. Did I say crap? I am sorry, how indecent of me. It'll wreck their shit. Let's not mince words. You know what? I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh, ready an acorn. Take a drink. We'll find out. Everyone who's played this game recently is just laughing their asses off at me for not knowing where I'm going. But just remember, there was a time when I was really good at this. Yeah, we're in the right place. Now, there should be a guy here we have to kill. Boomerang's not going to quite do it, but... If we've learned anything from watching The Lord of the Rings, it's that an effeminate, pointy-eared young boy in green clothes can take out a heavily armored opponent with a bow like no one's business. I 
I should be a little more fair to our elven friend Lagoas. But you gotta admit, that is one of the riddles of our time. Well, while we're here, we might as well go ahead and read this hieroglyph. Now you'll notice that while it's dark, you can't see it. Gotta light them up. And we get some funky looking petroglyphs. It's an illusion. Speaking of a scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye, I bet Link's been doing some lids and that's why he's hallucinating so much. Something about some needles. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, the consolation here is that this is kind of a catchy tune that'll stick with you for a while. Or not. And the talkative owl. The relief was no such thing. Right. One cannot tell if a tr chest holds treasure until they open it. Because it might be full of guts and teeth, like a mimic. All you gamers in the crowd know exactly what I'm talking about. Those insidious mimics with their chest full of teeth. Oh yeah, you can also bounce the knights out of the way if you're so inclined. Iron knuckles, dark nuts, knights, assholes. One of those things. Oop, take a drink. Ouch. Also, if you bounce them with your shield, they won't actually uh, come to life and start wrecking your world. Which is a swell idea if you're low on health. Like I've suddenly become. Okay, now. Next thing we need to do is to get ourselves in the water up here. So that we can hop a cave and there's one right by... Yeah, I'm pointing to it. I'm pointing to it like you can see my finger pointing to the thing that we need to go to. You can tell I've lost it in my old age. Anyway, we need to get in the water so we can, uh... Let's see... Yep, right there. This is our entrance to the next cavern. If we don't get bombed into tiny little pieces first. You can barely see it right there. Now we're well on our way. And the hook shot will get us to where we need to go. We can key the place right on up. And with that, we have arrived. The Face Shrine. Just no comment. No comment at all. I'll see you next time. Take a drink. <laughs>